Hello, Vision Media. Subscribe now or you're killing yourself. Kill him, daddy, kill him. Kill him, daddy, kill him. She was like, she she has, she knows somebody that has the original copy when it man, first came out. Man. I was just watching some Illuminati shit. You know, a lot of that should be bull, but then some of the shit that they had in this particular one was crazy. Man. Cause they had the interview with him and Diane Sawyer, and she was like, "But Michael, you're saying Jew me, sue me, kick me, kite me. What the? That's when he was married to Lisa Presley, man. dude. And I'm like, you could say." Niggas in Paris, but you can't say. <laughs> and they use that music as part of promotion for friends. So I just, so I just he he got another commercial, some dude or something, right? Dude, I see it this morning, Kanye. So you could do that shit, mm -hmm. but if you say, <laughs> now Jew is not a slur per se. It's not a slur. It's not. It's not. Pirate, no, my favorite. But my favorite moment from any of that shit, me and the nigga, me and this nigga was in Atlanta. Remember when we see the nigga, uh, Minister Khalid? When we, yeah. When, son, we see this nigga, Minister Khalid, and I swear to God, yo, I've seen many of dude. It was something about that dude that was some real other shit to me. But that nigga said he was giving a speech at a white college. I, I found that shit online, too. He said, he said it was, it was, y'all went to Africa. You stole the precious things that we had in Africa. It was Goldstein and Rubenstein <laughs> uh -huh. and went to Africa mm -hmm. and stole all this. That's why y'all call it jewelry. I was like, yeah, this thing is stupid. He said Goldstein mm -hmm. and Rubenstein. That's mm -hmm. why y'all call it jewelry. I was like, this <laughs> thing is crazy, son. Breaking the tax, though. That's the what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, the, them, them dudes always got a way of phrasing shit yeah, where you yeah, be like, yeah, come yeah. on, son. They be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always ping pong with that shit. You got a way to do it. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm not, you know, like I said, I, me personally, I stopped using it a while ago because. There's no more real dudes like that. You know what I'm saying? When the dudes say it was popping with you, my nigga, then basically you know what it is to be me, I know what it is to be you. That's like us seeing Sean Bell was good with you, my nigga. You already getting married, son. Mm -hmm. And then you, yo, son, I heard. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That's like you seeing Emmett Till, nigga, don't you? Whistle like that white girl. Mm -hmm. That's that type of shit. Now it's going to a place where that word has become corporate. Like, what the? You encourage motherfuckers to do that shit? Mm -hmm. I sent Runaway Slave to a pretty good, reputable uh, man, uh, lawyer. So I called a dude two weeks later. He's like, "Yeah, hey, yeah, listen to it." He's like, "But you're doing, you're doing hip hop, hip hop." Like, yeah. He's like, "Yeah, you know, I mean, that's good, but I'm just like, you know, the market's not really set for that right now." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "Wow, look at this mm -hmm. bullshit." He, no, he didn't say I was doing. Hip hop, he said, oh, you're doing hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fuck the. Matter of fact, this nigga's a lawyer for the roots. So you know what it is, because the roots and, and, and Mr. Walt and them at the same lawyer. Mm -hmm. So he had said that shit to me. So he was kind of like, because you know, by that time, I had already kind of took my little time off, and then we was just throwing runaway slave and runaway slave until the wheels had got all that, all that press. And I'm like, nigga. So I'm just watching how they like boxing out. You know what I'm saying? Like certain motherfuckers, they boxing out certain shit. I'm looking at them dudes like, wow. I'm all with NWA, dog. I'm with MOP. Like, I know them niggas. I'm with certain dudes doing shit. Because if you got a dude like Ice Cube talking about robbing drug dealers and all you doing is selling drugs in the community and all you buy is rims and, and jewelry, so that's why we robbing you and he had the lynch mob, shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm with it. But now when you got dudes like a Drake and a just a whoever where you using it because of hip hop. I heard a dude call Hot 97 was like, yo, but niggas a hip hop word. Like, what? Really? I was like, really? But then I gotta, I gotta kind of catch myself and remember what era I'm from and where we come from because we are the babies 
of the golden era. Like we watch Rock him and the right, little right, dudes. Right, 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 we right. not that no more. Right. We remember when there was only, you know, like Luther Vandross and Clean music on the radio. We remember the hand NWA and be like, oh my god, what the hell is this nigga doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But to a kid who's 15 years old, and okay, well, this is the best radio station in the city, and that's what they listen to, and that's what they hear all the time, and that's what it is. And to them, it's a hip hop world. I'm like, wow. Like, so three fifths of a human, none of those things come yeah, into. Yeah, that's, that's the shit that I'm like, to back in 2000, after my single. And that's the one thing I would say about because Staten Island is like the forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just that only so it's only it's only like certain types of shit that that can go on with them. And with Wu Tang, they definitely had a mixture of deeper shit. But yet and still, it's like, dude, like the dudes that need this shit to be done the right way. What the fuck do you have say so? You have no say so about that shit no more, son. Hmm. Y'all back everything else. Yo, so I'm gonna hear that mouth. I remember when uh, one of the West Coast dudes was confronted about uh, Crayshawn saying the word nigga. This dude said, Yo, that ain't, you know, the Malcolm X was, was in the 60s, yo. This is 2000 and something, something, something. I'm like, say something bad about Christopher Columbus in front of an Italian American and see what the fuck gonna happen. See, say. Mm -hmm. His legend is that he discovered America right. with millions of people living here already. already. <laughs> with a system. You watch my babies, I'm going to hunt. When I come back, I'm going to give you something mm -hmm. and we cool. Mm -hmm. That's how they pay for babysitting. Mm -hmm. They damn people got a system. They the, they one of the most uh, best examples of community. Mm -hmm. That's a system that's set up. And you come here. And be like, oh yeah, this is me, right? I found this right. <laughs> Plant your flag and all. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Dude, really? Gosh, <laughs> yo, my pops is one of the illest niggas with that shit, cause he bucks against so much other shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ain't speak to him in forever, but he said one thing that went one thing we was driving. Was going to uh going back to my school when I went to college and shit. He, he was like, Yeah, you see, certain people come here and they just claim stuff. Mm -hmm. Listen to all this shit. He's like, they step on this property and they go, yes, this is New York. Mm -hmm. This is New Jersey. This is New England. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was thinking, mm -hmm. I was like, because York is Dutch. New Hampshire was called New Hampshire before New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all that shit is, that all that shit, all that's, all that's taking over somebody's shit. Right. And being exactly. like, this is the new. Exactly. That shit is crazy. Dude. That's why yeah, now they're saying the new New York. You know, dudes have to be able to definitely because and that they yeah. play upon the fact that dudes are not they're not Don't get me wrong. they're not unified and they're not I, I on the, and they're not on the same accord. I see that I see that heavily with dudes, man. Because the dudes that really come from this shit. Whether you want to be yeah, one yeah. Like, these dudes that they either tapped out and they're gone, or they just submitted themselves to what it is and they're running around in the game doing other shit. They ain't administrative positions, but they ain't making it It's the same thing when the Middle East comes to America. I'm like, listen, man. I don't care what it is, what dudes are talking about. I'm not going to be in nobody's dog and pony show, dog. And that's just what that shit is. That shit is like the nigga got a collar on you, he just walk you out like them fucking fat bros and coming out there at the West Coast <laughs> dog show and shit. And they got their little fancy ass dogs that they brushing it. Nah, man, that's what all that shit is about. Cause when you want to say certain shit, when you bring certain shit to the table, it's like, <clears throat> well, uh, even though I was putting my album together before, that shit was a little too. His letters, and it just looks like a rock album. <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious right now? I, they, they had a meeting about my letters. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I know. I I'm know. like, but I'm just, I'm, I'm like, yo, listen. Man. I had Julie Greenwald and Leo tell me that you need to choose which one you want to do. You oh. can't rap and sing. Watch. Wow. A dude said to me, <laughs> but then hit Drake is signed to Atlantic Records, right? T Pain and all that. And, wow. and Leo is mm -hmm. the head of all of all, all of that wow. dynamic. So it's like for that to be told to me at that time right. that I can't rap Yo, and sing, I gotta choose both. Subscribe now.
Or are you killing yourself? Kill him, daddy, kill him. Kill him, daddy, kill him.